Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video in my YouTube channel. Couple of days back, I uploaded a video on how to use Wired Android Auto on your Android Studio player. So that was using a Wired method. Now I'm going to introduce you how to use Wireless Android Auto on your Android end unit. Uh, this is not much complicated process as you might thinking uh, but it involves two to three steps uh, and you have to repeat those two to three steps every time when you are using wireless android auto this method is also uses the app which we installed uh, using during the wired method of uh, android auto that is the head unit uh, reloader app we will be using the same application for this method as well so first step is to do a few settings in your mobile phone which I'll be showing now. Go to your mobile phone settings. Search for Android Auto. Scroll down under system settings. Here you can see system settings. Turn on wireless Android Auto. Now it is on. The blue mark indicates that it is on. Then scroll down at the bottom portion you can see the version number of the Android Auto. Tap on it and tap 10 times on the version 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 until you can see mine is already activated that's why it's not showing anything and uh, you have to tap on it 10 times until the developer's mode settings is activated then on the top left no, uh, sorry top right corner you can see three dots right tap on it and you can see start head unit server tap on start head unit server now the server got started and that's it after starting the android auto server good you know, turn on your wi-fi hotspot in your mobile phone now connect your android head unit to that wi-fi hotspot Now go to the application head unit reloader. Now tap on the Wi-Fi option. Within 10 to 15 seconds, you can see Android Auto is reloaded. See the Android Auto is already reloaded. You can see the Android Auto connected in your mobile phone as well. So you will get a notification like Android Auto connected to your car and Android Auto developer head unit server running. And this is the wireless method of connecting Android Auto to your Android Ed units. This is the menu page. Personally, I felt the wired Android Auto is much more reliable than the wireless Android Auto. I tested both the one, but the wireless Android Auto got crashed a couple of times. The navigation got automatically exit. And it's completely your personal choice. If you don't want to clutter your car's interior with wires, then you can definitely go for the wireless one. And if you are using the wireless Android Auto and uh, the app or the navigation crashes in between, you can again reconnect it by going through the head unit reloaded app, tap on the Wi-Fi button again. The, the server will automatically restart and the navigation will continue from the where it crashed. That's it for today's videos guys. Uh, if you want to get notified on my future uploads, stay tuned to my channel by subscribing. Thank you. Bye.